Hey guys, this is your boy Flash. I'm on my way home from the ride, but I'm going to put this video in front. As you see, my wife just woke up back there. So I'm doing a second video today, I'm testing my audio and video stuff um, in my new to me in my new Shoei helmet. I got this helmet uh, from a dealer in Dallas. These helmets have been discontinued because uh, the Neotech tours were discontinued. And they came out with a Neotech three. Well, they don't make a Neotech three in red. And uh, I got an extra, double extra large noggin. So my head is, you know, can't find many helmets that can fit. Uh, last year, 2023, I was down in Houston at uh, Mancuso Harley Davidson. And they had one of these on the shelf. I tried it on and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best feeling helmet I've ever had on my head. It was $800. I ain't buying it today. So anyway, time goes by, and uh, my wife says, "Hey, you need you should buy the helmet. You've been wanting." I'm like, ah, "I don't know if I can find one." So I did some searching, searching, searching. I finally found one at a dealer in Dallas, and uh, I had it shipped to me. So on uh, what was cool also is that. Since they were being discontinued, it was no longer $800, it was $600, even better. So uh, I took two days to get the Ace Pro and my Cena 50S and my microphones and everything set up. Uh, my first test I did last week, I did 4K with the Ace Pro and uh, my computer, which I bought to edit videos, among other things uh, the file sizes were so big it could not handle it would not do smooth transitions with the 4k it was all choppy I made the video I made a small video it just kind of put it together but the editing was the video came out smooth when in the end while you're watching it but editing was kind of terrible so I changed the settings on this I went from uh, 4k to like 2.75 I think uh, off of the 1080p I think 1080p was what I used to record with so I'm gonna see how today's video comes out I had my wife on comms for a while but um, I made a FaceTime call to my daughter to wish her happy birthday down in Texas and uh, I could never get my wife back on my audio here so I uh, was unsuccessful doing a FaceTime I was like hey it'll be cool doing a video call from a motorcycle right maybe not but she was busy in a meeting so she texted me and said we'd actually have to talk tomorrow because she's pretty much tied up I guess the rest of the day so I'll call her tomorrow I did text her this morning and tell her happy birthday trying to plan a trip down there either I also want to go next weekend but I don't think I can pull it off the Lone Star Rally is next weekend and I took today yesterday and today Monday and Tuesday off and I would have to take off next at least half a day Wednesday and then Thursday Friday the following Monday and uh, it's just hard for me to take off work with all the stuff that's going on we're still short of man all that good stuff so we will get it worked out. If I don't go next weekend for the rally, then we'll just wait a week or two and take the car and drive down there and get down there and back faster. So anyway, that's the deal. We took a little good ride down through to Republic and Galena over to Reed Spring, over to Branson West, had some lunch. And uh, now we're headed home. Like I say, I'm gonna put this in front. Uh, some of the places we went had some pretty, pretty cool tree colors and that sort of thing. So you might enjoy some of it, but 
new to me well it's new <laughs> new Shoei helmet I'm liking the Ace Pro I've still got a GoPro there GoPro 7 I want to get an Ace not an Ace Pro but an Ace to put on my mirror and uh, a remote the GPS remote so we'll see how that works I probably won't get it until uh, close to next year I don't know I might get it next week we'll see but it's a beautiful day in Missouri it's like 80 degrees 80 oh shoot really it's, my bike says it's 88 degrees out here hey Siri oh, she didn't hear me anyway oh well I guess uh here, I can pull up the weather channel. It is 85 and sunny. It is October 22nd in Missouri. Tight. <laughs> I've had to take off work to because of that. I was like, these days are too nice to not take off and do a little riding. So that's what I did. I'm regretting it because I, you know, been taking some work emails and calls and actually went and visited some work sites yesterday while I was off. Ain't supposed to do that. Take off, take off, right? Yeah. Don't know why it ever never works out like that with me hardly. Anyhow, I want to cut this off because we're just headed home straight up the highway. I hope you enjoy the video. Like, share, subscribe. Please subscribe. I need subscribers. Give me some subscribers, y'all. Anyway, take it easy. Deuces. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks. This is your boy Flash, and I'm out. There we go. Okay, we made us a turn. We turned off of whatever we were on. On the Highway A, we're going to go down here and hit Highway AA. Go down by the river, see what the trees and stuff look like. You didn't see this one coming, did you, honey? Oh, she can't hear me again. Oh, that we're going to Hurley? Well, we Hurley's that way. Where are we going? We turned before Hurley. Nope, you've tricked me now. I've tricked you. I was going to surprise you with the destination. Hey, what is the destination? It's quite possible we could end up right there near Branson West. <laughs> Are we going by the river, you said? We're going by the river. Oh, I like that. We'll see if we can find a van. <laughs> I haven't been down this route in a while. Of course I haven't turned yet. There's a right hand turn up here somewhere. never done is taking this road past the double A cutoff. I might have to do that some of these days and see where it goes. I could pull it up on a map. Oh maps are for babies. Oh right. Right there is AA coming up.
looks rough. It is a little, well, in the past it's been a little rough. It's actually, I think they paved it since last time I was on it. Oh. It was kind of gravelly. Yeah. colors I guess JR was uh, reviewing a brand new Honda CBR650 sport bike last night. Oh yeah? Is yeah. he still riding? Sometimes. Oh. He didn't buy it, but he was test riding it and um, it has some sort of electronic clutch so that if you choose not to use the clutch lever, you don't have to. You still manually shift the shifter up and down yeah. and you can ride you can uh, start the bike and kick it into first gear without pulling in a clutch and it won't move until you give it throttle and you can run you don't have to blip the throttle as you switch the gears you can keep the throttle pinned and just shift up through the gears without ever touching the clutch But you, you can use the clutch if you choose to. What's... So the bike... Uh, what's the advantage of that? I guess if you were wanting to take off really quick, you wouldn't have to worry about letting off the throttle to switch the, to hit the clutch and switch the gear slowing you down. So you just hold the throttle and then just, just, just hammer bam, it? Just bam, 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 bam with the gear shifter. somebody learning to ride like you can switch gears without worrying about killing the bike oh. and then when you get used to it you can start using the clutch as soon as you do use the clutch lever it yeah. disengages the automatic uh, clutch ah. I think for somebody who's already riding that'd be really hard to get used to that it'd be a little weird wouldn't it yeah it's almost like riding a DCT only you have to, you do have to change the gears, you just don't have to use the clutch to do it. <laughs> hmm. I hadn't finished watching it yet, I only got about 10 minutes into it and I had to go to bed. Well there is a river down here somewhere. I think the river's on the left side. Are you talking about that little shady river? Yeah, it's pretty shady. Where there's like that bumpy dip in the road? Oh, I might have to be on the lookout for that. I don't think we're on that road.
Not huh. completely dry, but <laughs> it's pretty yes. pretty low. Sorry, I wasn't trying to roll up on you, it just kind of happened. <laughs>